Hey everyone, this is Mast, and today I'm going to teach you how to play Kali. So many of you know that Kali is the strongest late game assassin. For most people, playing her late game is going to be pretty easy, but playing her up until then can be pretty difficult. So I'm going to show you what to do in the early game to make sure you're on track to reach the late game and hyper carry your team. Don't expect Kali to do a lot early game, it's just not realistic. Even once you get your ultimate, Kali just doesn't have much damage potential until she has a couple items online and some points into her 3. Until then you should really be focused on farming and getting as much as you can. Trust me, I get it, you want to kill people, it's okay, we all do. But once you get kin size done, you'll have a much bigger chance of doing so. Up until then, your combo with your stun and your 2 is really all that you have, which means you should be focused on getting off quick little bursts and disengaging. That said, you can still look to fight if your teammates can deal a lot of damage, or if you're ganking a low health target. Kali is great at killing low HP enemies because she has a jump, her 3-2 combo is easy to hit, and she has an ult which will let you quickly dive tower if you need to. Just remember that without kin size, you should not be expecting to do more than half of someone's health. Focus on your burst damage and staying alive. Another thing that's important to know with Kali is how to use your passive. When you have the ability to choose your target, you should be choosing squishy targets, ideally with low mobility. Anyone that you can stick to is very important because it lets you use your ult to its full potential, dealing damage and allowing you to drop to 1 HP, healing up to full once you get the kill. I try to avoid targeting the enemy jungler because most junglers have a lot of mobility and they're difficult to lock down. Instead, I try to target mages and hunters. Also know that you don't need to always go after your target, especially not early game. Killing your target is much more important for sustaining through a team fight than when you're securing a single kill on a gank. Just look for opportunities like you normally would with an assassin when you're in the early stages of the game. Really start focusing on your target as you reach the team fight stage. If you're in a team fight, unless somebody's an absolutely free kill, you should always be prioritizing your target. Because of kin size, Kali can shred everyone, which means that even if the tank is your target, they're still worth killing. As long as your team can help out with some damage and CC, you'll be able to kill the tank, heal up, and get a new target who's much easier to kill. Be aware that Kali's new target is whoever is closest to her. In the early game, look to use your ult for damage more than invincibility. In your early levels, you won't have much auto attack damage at all, and even with the little you do have, you can't stick to people yet without Fatalis. A great way to use your ult this early is to drop your entire kit on an enemy and auto them until they're at the end of your ult's range. Then pop your ult and stick to them with that extra damage to wrap up the kill. As you get later into the game and start getting more damage online, you're going to do quite the opposite. You want to save that ult until you're normally around 30% health. It's situational, but you don't want to be in a spot where any random ability could kill you without giving you time to react to it. Use your ult entirely as a way to stick to your target for long enough to kill them and heal up. Of course, you can also use Kali ult like a defensive Aegis, keeping yourself alive for long enough to escape when things go south. Now let's go over some of the plays I've already shown you in this video. First up is the disengage combo. This is when you're looking to finish off a kill or poke your enemy out without getting damaged back. This combo is Kali's 3 into an auto attack, into her 2, into another auto attack, and then you leap back to safety. Next up is the kill secure, which is using your ultimate outside of your auto attack range to get the final damage for a kill. If you're one on one and starting to deal some damage, it's time to start using your max burst combo. This is using your leap as a gap closer, then an auto attack cancel into your 3, into your 2, and hitting as many autos as you can afterwards. If your opponent has a dash up to get out right away, try to save your leap and use your stun to engage instead. 
This is especially important once you have Fatalis online because you want to stick to your opponent. And finally, here's my last tip for you today. When playing Kali, your ult gives you immunity to roots, knockup, and slows. If you're afraid that any of these CC effects will keep you from securing your target, pop your ult early to give you that extra mobility so that you can wipe out your target. Thanks for watching everyone, this has been a quick guide on Kali. I'm going to be making more of these in the future, so let me know what you'd like to see. Walls keep tumbling down, down